Back-to-back -back games. OG with the fortitude to stick through it after dealing with such adversity with the tiny. Oh, oh the look there from Nota. I mean, you can feel it this game. Betrayal cuts deep. Losing hurts, especially when you lose on the biggest stage your game has to offer. When you lose in front of everyone. When you lose to the underdogs. But there's something worse than losing. There's nothing more painful than being betrayed. Seeing someone you considered a friend turn against you. Turn against the philosophy you once shared. Turn against the band of brothers you put together to win with. And there's nothing better than getting revenge. The power of flowers and friendship. I've done it here, ladies and gentlemen. Your grand champions of TIA. It's OG. Can you believe it? OG was founded on a simple principle. Johan, No-Tail, Sunstein, and Tall Fly Isaac were tired of being tossed from team to team without really getting a chance to develop. They believed that if a team stuck together for long enough, if they believed in their ability to play together, they could win anything. JG OG will be claimed four-time Dota 2 major winners here in Kiev. They were almost right. OG, their run ends here. First OG won four down. Dota 2 majors, more than any other team in history, and every time the international came around, they were favorites. Prediction one way or the other. OG. With Fly at the helm as captain and No Tail at his side, OG looks strong going into TI. They boasted team chemistry, one of the best players in Dota history, and promising rookies. But they never succeeded. Things shifted ahead of TI-8. The OG of the 2017-2018 season was not the OG fans came to recognize. The team just couldn't put together wins when it mattered, falling to weaker teams and lagging behind in the Dota 2 Pro circuit. It looked like they weren't going to make it to TI. In May, Fly broke the promise on which OG was founded. After two years of leading, building, and supporting OG, he left. He took Gustav S4 Magnuson and went to Evil Geniuses, long considered North America's best team. Evil Geniuses has never had the player loyalty that defined OG. That isn't necessarily a bad thing, as the team is a perennial TI powerhouse. But it means that even after winning TI, they were willing to drop one of the players that earned them the Aegis. We ended up releasing AUI and bringing in our old teammate Arteezy to play with us. And um, it's just kind of what we, everyone on our team thought was best for us going into this next year. They've got the money, the reputation, and the core talent that could convince any player to leave one team and join their hallowed ranks. And Fly was convinced. Fly an S4. Why did you leave OG? The team hasn't worked for a long time. Uh, and I can say personally that I lost a lot of motivation when the whole uh, situation arised where I could join EG. I felt a new surge of motivation where I felt like this is really a team I could win with, as opposed to the previous team where I felt like we kind of hit a dead end in the end I want to win and I want to do it with teammates I believe in. The change meant that both EG and OG would have to go through the open qualifiers to make TI, but the addition of Fly and S4 made EG suddenly look like serious contenders to lift the Aegis of Champions, at least on paper. OG, on the other hand, were disregarded. Without their captain and one of their star players, fans didn't even think they could make it through the open qualifiers. OG signed Topius Topson Tavitsainen, a promising young rookie, and moved their coach, Sebastian Seb Debs, onto the main lineup. Still, few had OG pegged to make a deep run at TI, or even make it at all. But if there's anything that can fuel a team to victory, it's revenge. GG. GG is the call. OG will be the European representative through the qualifiers going to the International 2018. But even once they made it to TI, hopes weren't high for OG. There's still a lot of questions around OG though. Yes. Like, cause like you look at LGD, LGD had tagged up in the top three to go through, uh, but OG were a team that came through, like they obviously had their roster ripped apart by evil geniuses. 
but they were at TI, and that meant they had a chance. A chance to win, but perhaps more importantly, a chance to get revenge on their former captain, their brother who betrayed them. It is obviously never going to be easy to win a TI. Nobody has done it twice. But this year, I think our chances are actually better than they've ever been. That's, that's my personal gut feeling. OG had a tough group, arguably the harder of the two, but they stayed strong. Even after taking a 2-0 loss to Fly and EG on the second day. Back except the Marana, they're going to GG out. EG have turned around. A bad start here in game number two and taken down OG. And in the end, they came out in fourth with a spot in the upper bracket and a clear path to a faded rematch against EG. Both EG and OG dispatched their first round opponents with ease, 2-0. Well, draining through the man and the ice pack is safe and he's gone! 100 seconds has to buy back and get back into this fight. OG taking the tier 3 tower, now moving on to the other barracks. How quickly things change, only now a 3,000 gold lead. It's like, for now, there, it's gonna calm and start backing away. Oh, but no, it's set! The winter burst, they turn it, they find him! Is he gonna go down? The Enchantress is taking a ton of damage, they have the second last second round, the is down for two minutes! OG, they're taking them down! It might be enough to the Witcher's Curse, though, to turn it back around. Great play, they're all caught in it. The light strike array on the four! There's not looking at no coming from the Venom. They get the set off, but it's not gonna last. They turn on to Rezzo, get the bash, find the kill. MSS also in trouble as all of BGJ Storm fall. They were qualified for the upper bracket semifinals for a match against each other. The stage was set. EG against OG. Blue against green. Brother against brother, fly against no tail. So we're gonna talk about the thing that everybody's talking about, which is S4 and fly leaving, and you all had to reset pretty quickly. No tail, for you, how, what was that like, going through that change? I'm actually not that willing to talk about it. Yeah. It's uh, something for later, yeah. another day. Can you help people understand why you don't wanna talk about it so that they'll, we can all leave you alone? It's just personal. Everyone has their own analogy about this matchup, right? There's there's many stories to be told, but obviously one that dates a little back to the old OG squad and how now these two squads have come to be in their current form. Winner, do you think that's going to play a role in this matchup between the two? Yeah, both teams understand each other really well, right? In terms of crafting, what they want to do. He's got his eyes on the pick. Can he uh -oh. time it perfectly? The tornado coming in for the side. Does manage to catch him? It's pretty low. They're moving into the pit. There's the black hole. Coming out under the two that they've lost the bench. The Roshan still being focused by Artizi. Jarek Artizi still alive with the Shadow Blade set. Finally gets taken down by Samantha. Samantha's held in place by the Ice Wall. Jarek's into the pit. There's been the buyback from Fly. Samantha goes down. Tops it in with a fight with the cold snap. Jarek's will tick down to the back. The touch. Roshan still alive for now. The silence from Crit out onto Thompson. Artizi double ganger still alive. Still alive. Gets on top of the invoker. Thompson falls back towards the pit. Oh Trying to find him with the slap goes down for Roshan. They get the kill, but Crit gets the Aegis triple kill for Crit, and he's not done yet. Rolls forward, looks for Jared. Jared taking on his way. Game one was close. They find the uh, uh, for Crit. They're gonna find it as well. They're gonna find Fly as well. GG is cool. Game one in a series where I think a lot of people would have expected to see something quite fantastic from EG. OG. They absolutely crushed it, 32 minutes in 18. And while game two looked close as well. Just abandoned on the top lane, mid lane EG, they're trying to fight. But Samel, Samel. he's going to potentially going down as well. The curse starting to dig him down, he's got the stick charges. But again, the slow, the rave pop down, so Samel cannot get out. Fly can't cancel the for a stive, he's back up to the high ground. Curse from the hotel, comes out to the three, and Thompson teeping out of it. Oh, hang on, they'll take him into the snowball. They want to keep the try going, they get on top of Samel. They'll take down the egg, they'll find the egg, that punch crit up, Crit's going to fall. They're all dead. Where's his team wipe? EG still managed to snuff them out in a dominant performance. EG looking to close the game up, the GG is cool. And EG will come in this series to a game three. The score was 1-1. EG were still the favorite and OG still the underdogs. Sitting directly across from Fly, No Tail knew exactly how much was on the line. He wasn't just fighting for a spot in the upper bracket finals. He wasn't just fighting for more prize money. He was fighting for his principles, for his belief in a team he and Fly built on an understanding that loyalty and friendship meant more than money or championships. No Tail was fighting for the very soul of OG, and his team was behind him. 
every step of the way. Things got off to a bad start for OG. Straight in with the avalanche, toss to follow the pop, the stampede, can they get stops and out of here? They cannot. And they only got worse. EG had taken two Roshans, had the pressure on OG's barracks, and were getting ready to close out the game. But OG persevered and pulled out a miracle. Oh goodness, we saw EG in game two make quite a comeback. Could OG make even a bigger comeback here in game three? The Thunder goes rough, used by Thompson. They pop the horn. RTG just have to pop the BKB run away. Crit gets around and Crit gets taken down. They'll go for the supernova. OG looking towards the sun. Can they take it down? It's time they can. They get the supernova. Samael going in with the BKB. Looking towards the sun. Breaks down. Set banana. Still alive. Cuts down. Samael. Double kill for Anna. And a spot to run himself away for Jax. He's pulled for Jax. With the right clicks, gets the kill. After a grueling 53-minute game, OG emerged victorious, and No Tail had his revenge. We'll move one step closer to the OG. Unbelievable comebacks we have between these two teams in two back-to-back -back games. OG with the fortitude to stick through it after dealing with such a oh. Oh. Oh, the look there from No Tail. I mean, you could feel it this game. There was the drama, there was the passion, and OG against any other team. I don't know if they would have played as well as they did here. The time for revenge was over. Now it was time for vindication. When it comes to OG, it's the element of surprise that they have to play on. So I'm expecting just a lot of creativity from them. But if LGD show up with their absolute best, I, I do feel like they have an edge. Yeah, a lot of times it did feel like OG was kind of able to force mistakes out of their opponent by surprise and then take advantage of that yep. momentum. Whereas LGD, we discussed earlier, just plays a clean game. Despite beating EG, OG had a long way to go. There was still one more team between them and the Grand Finals, PSG LGD. Up until 2018, TI was defined by a cycle. Every even year, a Chinese team lifted the Aegis, and LGD were the only Chinese team left in the bracket. Of course, it wasn't just fate that was on their side, it was skill. LGD may have only come out of the group stage in third place, but they dominated two powerhouse teams on their way to the upper bracket finals. 2-0 over both Virtus Pro and defending champions Team Liquid. But by now, OG were used to being the underdogs. This was already their best TI performance in the team's history. Why not just take it a little farther? OG, they can't find the target, X Nova, he's got the grip, he's got the control, he's got the kill, Thompson is down, but ES is up, where the Echo slam, oh, there he dancing is. forward, there's your slam, there's the dunk, there's the play, done it! It goes the distance, it goes to three! Once again, OG silenced their doubters, they defeated LGD 2-1, thanks to an incredible comeback, and secured a spot in the Grand Finals. OG was one match away from the Aegis. One match away from the victory that had escaped them for so long. One match away from proving that they didn't need Fly or S4. They just needed to believe in the thing that had gotten OG so far in the first place. The belief that working together as a team and trusting each other would get them the rest of the way. LGD dispatched EG 2-0 in the lower bracket finals to earn another shot at OG. OG took the first game. And G, G is cold, ladies and gentlemen. OG taking game one of this best of five in the 2018 International Grand Finals. But LGD rallied, taking two one-sided games back to back. They beat down on the ancient PSG 
Duncan, he's looking to close this one up, and they will! Game 3 goes to PSG LGD! OG had their backs to the wall. He's in for the side, he's got a double damage rune as well, FYs, they're in underneath the tower, punching down Thompson, Thompson falls once again, Jarex comes in with the tether across, they try to find something to response, but Jarex, he's in trouble, he will live, they get the kill, FY, he'll go down as well, so OG able to strike back in that middle lane with the rotation, getting the double kill for no double, Nova, Orgson against the easiest kill of his life. With so much on the line, with so little room for error, no one expected former coach Seb to save OG, but he did. Can he do it here? He's at half out set! Seb gets the call! He gets the call of his lifetime! As three dead now on LGD, no! Bye -bye. And it kept them alive for one last game. OG went in with a lineup of some of the least picked heroes at the tournament, and LGD took advantage of that as soon as the game started. Garrett, fly. Goes for the setup, the Fisher into the combo. Torrent will be dodged. No Tail's actually going to TP in for this one as Somnus beats down onto Jarex. Jarex able to get himself away. No, he's not! Once again, LGD took an early lead, but OG had been here before. The whole tournament was one big comeback, so what better way to close it out than with one more? Slam, ready to hold off of the fight, but Chalice is so low. Chalice is going to go down. PSG LGD, they've lost three F5 with a TPL, won't make it. The slide of this, the change. Anna catches out the shaker. Can he TP back in time before the curse kills him? Yes, he can. Chalice still alive throughout this all. They've lost Thompson. The slide, the change, the remnant across. They'll get the kill off to Chalice. Global. But now Anna, he's in the middle of it all. Yulzed himself up the flame guard, ticking F5 down. Then the slide of this, the RP. Sim, he's got the control. Oh, Tommy! As OG, they fight three, they look towards Somnus surrounding him in the pit. Somnus, he'll go down as well. God. The buyback from Anna securing the fight here for OG. There's only X Nova left alive, but not for long. They chase him down, they get the team one. The Ancient is exposed. As OG, the Nimbus no, down, the shockwave from Seb gets themselves another. They're onto the Ancient. OG. G. They've have done, done it. it. They have they done it. Have done it. The power of flowers and friendship. I've done it here, ladies and gentlemen. Your grand champions of TIA. It's OG. Can you believe it? OG emerged victorious after a close 3 2 series after a tournament filled with comebacks and close calls, after getting revenge on evil geniuses. That was a team that was shaken up months before this event. They just Ripped formed. Apart. They just reformed this team. Thompson, he's only been playing for a couple of days. His earnings were $3,000 before this. Oh my goodness. OG. Congratulations OG. to OG. They deserve oh, it. They, they yeah. blew out of their minds in this entire tournament. They didn't follow anyone else's strategy. Maybe that was, that was, that was a stepping stone. They just played their own game, and it was miraculous. But perhaps most importantly, they emerged victorious after proving themselves. Cinderella's story ain't got nothing on this! OG! Your team! At the International 2018, No-Tail, Jerax, Seb, Anna, and Thompson proved that the fundamental belief that created OG was true. Sometimes, sticking together, working hard, and believing in the team you've built means more than just the best all-star roster that money can buy. Even when your friends lose their way and become your enemy. Even when the world is against you. I would not have picked them as a favorite for a single series they played at TI. You persevere because the trust you've created can win anything. That's what it's for. That That's right it. there. You're a TI champion, no tail. I guess it's real. It's fucking real. Breathe it in. Take your time. I, I, I feel so blessed. I feel so blessed. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button.